In the previous example, we have used that 150 psi as the cracking pressure. However, it says this is the operate. It operates at 150 psi. Now, if you don't want the water heater to go over 150, then you cannot solve the way we have solved the problem in the previous example. I just showed you how to calculate the cracking pressure in the previous example. If you don't want this water heater to go over 150, then it, it should be a little bit different calculation. So let me show you that. So think about the same kind of like a ball with spring. This is the free spring length. And then he used this spring to design a um, pressure relief valve and then uh, you, you compress this ball against some kind of seat like this so um, and the flow is coming this way that's 150 psi so that is the initial compression of this spring so that will exert some force downwards to balance this pressure coming upwards now to make full flow you if you just balance the force by 150 psi it's not going to make full flow so to make full flow you have to lift this ball let's say 0.1 inch lift it the spring will be even more compressed now so the total force applied by this spring now would be k times the spring constant plus that full flow movement K is the spring constant, sorry. And then S is the initial compression. So this is the total compression and the full flow, um, whatever that amount uh, to be lifted uh, to make the full flow. Now, the force, we can calculate it, calculate using the same thing we did before. So this PSI times the area of this pipe which was um, uh, calculated as 0.196 inches squared. So that was 29.4 inches squared, sorry, pound. Now, now we can solve this thing for 29.4 pounds is equal to 100 is the spring constant pound per inch. Uh, and then you got S plus 0.1. So if you Solve for S plus 0.1, that will be 0.294 inches. Then the initial compression will be 0.194 inches. So that is the initial compression kind of changes. If you look at this 0.294, it's the same number we calculated before. Now, if we now kind of calculate the uh, cracking pressure or cracking force, then the cracking force would be F equal to K times S, which is K is 100 times 0.194. So that's gonna be 19.4 pounds. If you want to convert that to pressure, simply force is equal to F by area, 19.4 divided by area 0.196. So that's become about 99 uh, PSI. So what's gonna happen is, when the water heater reaches at 99 PSI, then this valve will start to open. It will just balance at 99. It will not fully open. Um, however, as the pressure increases, it will start to move up. And then if it goes over about 0.1 inches from the seat, it's gonna make the full flow and reduce the pressure to 99 and then it, it will maintain 99 inside pressure so